we have a new project here trying to cut some keys for the Ford Focus we picked up at Copart a few weeks back so we have this one key that came with the vehicle and we needed an extra key in case we get locked out or we want to you know have somebody else use the vehicle and the keys somewhere else so I picked up a couple of these switch key fobs on eBay, I think they're about 16 bucks a piece or something. And reviews on them work pretty good. So they need to be cut. Ace Hardware didn't want to cut them. Didn't want to take it to a local locksmith. Do past experiences with them uh, charging quite a bit just to cut a key. And they would preferably only cut their own keys. So the only really option we have is to cut our own keys now. So I found this machine on eBay. Okay reviews, not a lot of videos on how it works. So it's about $110, $115. Got it in about a week. So when we get it, unboxed it, everything's there. Small assembly required, a couple handle pieces here. They need to be threaded on, not a big deal. These pieces over here, on this, it came with a nut. This piece is only about this thick and that there's a threaded rod that comes through here when you try tightening it onto the screw um, for the the key you couldn't tighten it down all the way so i ended up having to space this out to put more pressure on it so you could actually tighten it all the way down to tighten onto the key blanks let me just put a couple washers in there for that so that took care of that problem then the other problem we had, uh, as soon as we, we got it, trying to figure it out, on the machine here, you have this bolt up on the top. And you can see this, this is the guide, and this is the cutting bed. So as you, let me unlock it here. So as you raise it and lower it with the right side, and then you can push it down onto the key if you just want to cut little kind of dot keys or if you're doing something else problem is that since this bolt up here was a little bit loose when you push this down this piece here under tension would then raise up just a little bit so then you could never get an accurate cut easy solution just tighten this bolt tighten the locking nut problem solved and you have to adjust this cutting bit so they're both the same height so hence the problem of making sure that wasn't going to move so we move this over a little bit insert one side tighten it down insert the other side loose push it all the way down to the the blocks lock it in place using this wheel on the side over here And then make sure that's all the way down on this side and then just tighten that set screw so we got that taken care of lids on now it's that time to cut a key let me get this camera set up here so this way i have found out to cut a key so we put the key in there is a block that's supposed to go in the back here to set the cutting depth so they're the same on both sides. <clears throat> so normally that wouldn't be a problem except on these Ford keys you tighten this down and this is still loose. That's tightened down all the way. You can't get it any tighter. Well that's not going to work. So my solution just put it in a little bit farther to this wider part of the key where then you can then tighten it down, lock it in place. Then you need to set the depth. Well, depth could be an issue because now we have a different issue we have to take care of first. So once this guide is in place, it's stuck inside of this channel. So we can't 
push it back and forth because it cutting piece is actually below the surface of this block. So we need to raise this key up a little bit. Simple solution I found for that is taking some paper, some junk mail, folding it over. Now we're raised up just higher than that. So then we can set that down, lock our side screw. So now we're at just the right cutting depth. And we've already adjusted the size on this other one so it's both the same height. Now we just put our extra key in there. This is already a key of cut. Again, we need our little piece of paper spacer. Put our paper spacer in there. Key. We gotta figure out how far back to put it. So if we put this side up against the guide and slide this key up against the cutting bit, making sure it's flat. Now they should both be the same height, same size, in the same exact cuts on both sides. So I've already cut this key, but it's not really gonna hurt it. I know it fits. It's set up exactly the same depth. So what I can do, I'll make sure that is the same depth first. Set it up against there. Make sure it's flat. And then we have a two buttons on the side over here. This is the on off switch for the motor. This is the on off switch for the light. We turn the motor on. It's not very loud. And we can cut the key again. So we've already cut the key, so there's no point going over it three times. Take the key out. Clean off whatever debris we have on it and then insert it in the car be sure it works that key you already know it works we tested it out already we take this key off take our little paper spacers off put those spacers spacers in the bottom drawer here i also picked up a some extra bits they're uh, marked as six millimeter across uh, for the shaft here on this cut and different sizes and heights and depending on what kind of keys you want. So not a lot to the machine. Works pretty well. I made a couple keys with it so far. Don't have to go to the dealership. Don't have to go to a locksmith. And these side cut laser keys, you don't really have any problem with them. Now we're off to the car to get these keys programmed.